Hello and welcome back to the casting of Frank Stone. Last episode we did the first half an hour. We played as Sam, we saved a child and possibly created the entity of Dead by Daylight. This is where we left off. <clears throat> None of this is right. It's a bit dark. What the? Follow the light. Oh shit, the house just vanished. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't run in this section. See a thing, man. I wonder who that is. What's Thank wrong? Thanks, subtitles. Is this a modern time now then? Because the intro is in the 60s on two. So I assume this is back to a regular time. Is that a 
Don't do it. Please give me a choice so I can ignore him. Absolutely not doing hey. that. Hey! Hey! And that's why we don't pick up hitchhikers. Eyes on the road, Maddie. She seems fine, to be fair, but it's not a risk you want to be taking, is it? Yeah, 2024, so it is modern times. Come all the way out here and nobody's home. Let me in, please. Hello. Why are we here again? Is anybody here? Why that shadow is supposed to symbolize the Better look around. See if I can find anyone. Augustine Liba. Don't know why I chose to go straight upstairs. Got my flashlight. Digging these creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> Mrs. Lieber, I am writing to confirm that, as per your instruction, I have asked the staff to take leave and vacate the grounds ahead of your visitors arriving. I recall hearing mention that your visitors are all collectors with a sh uh, shared interest to yourself. If this is the case, would it not be preferable, even desirable, to keep one trusted staff member on hand to handle any precious, precious, precious items if required? Anything else? Piano? The piano. Huh. Well, even I could play this.
Let's go play it then. Getting Beethoven over here. I swear that's that's in Dead by Daylight at some point. I can't remember at what point. Dun, dun. I don't. I oh, fuck's sake! I don't even see what opened. Oh here. Dun. Oh, that's gonna annoy me now. I don't know what that fucking secret stairs. Uh, I know it's from Dead by Daylight, but you gotta be kidding me. I don't remember when. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like it's the menu music. Maybe I shouldn't be snooping around. Then again. Another doll's at the Huntress. Hmm. That's so cool. Kid must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. Nice. A razor blade. Oh, don't fucking pick it up again. This must be the place. This door's the only option. Ah, hello. Another victim. Hello, victim? Just a little dry British humor. Oh, oh you're British? No, but spend a little while in a charming country house like this and it kind of rubs off on you. I am so sorry, where are my manners? My name is Stan, and you would be? Uh, Maddie. Well, nice to meet you, Maddie. A short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah, okay. Uh, like the Avenue. Like, oh, <laughs> in New York. Greatest city in the world. <laughs> Ever been? Oh, yeah, school. it's where I live. I mean, it's where I lived. But now I kind of live in Berlin, or, well, I go to school in Berlin. So I'm not technically a citizen there or anything. And New York is still kind of my home because, you know, it's New York City and, like, once a New Yorker, always a New Yorker, you know? Well, Madison Avenue. Now that you're here, it seems like the party can finally get started. <laughs> uh, well, not much of a party. Uh, yeah, you're telling me. I hate him. Been waiting here a while. Place is creep town, right? This place is like super duper creep town, right? It's not just me. I was taking a look around before, and let's just say I'm surprised it hasn't been condemned by the local authorities. Yikes. Lights don't even seem to work right. How do you mess up lights? That's like basic modernity, right? Right. Yep. The state of this place doesn't exactly reflect well on our mysterious host. Hey. Linda Castle. I am honored, no, humbled, to make your acquaintance. Hi. hi. Oh, it's the hitchhiker. It's a pleasure to be graced by your presence. Okay. Sure. Oh, shit. Likewise. Not every day you get to meet one of your all-time favorite horror filmmakers face to face and shake their hand. Aww. I would have gotten here sooner, but my car broke down and I just couldn't get anybody to stop for me. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. He's going to hate me. You know what? Don't worry. I needed the exercise. Wait, wait, hold up. Are you saying that you saw the Linda Castle stranded on the side of the road and, and you didn't stop? All right, man. Uh, Calm down. Yeah. A hitchhiker, I don't know who she is. The director of my mother, my father, my blood. Nerve biter. Blade skinner? Dismember, dismember the 25th of December. <laughs> I 
had he's no a, idea who she was. He's a terrible That's name. That's no excuse! For films. Defensive, never pick up. Yeah, exactly. Never pick up hitchhikers. Hey, you're a horror filmmaker. I thought, like, number one rule of horror movies was never pick up hitchhikers. Exactly. Actually, it's never have sex. <laughs> Ex but to be fair. No one has sex in movies anymore, anyways. Fair enough. He seems very disappointed. I probably wouldn't have picked me up either. <clears throat> it is a classic trope. I don't use tropes in my films. Well... I use archetypes. Right. Yes. <laughs> very smart. Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Sam? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. Well, nothing legal, obviously. Oh, uh, obviously. <laughs> A bit of like bedtime reading. Gonna read this. Not out loud, though. Okay, to be honest, I just kind of skimmed through it. You can pause it though, obviously, if you want to read really. it. Not that I have to tell you that. Make something to illustrate to Norman how acts of violence could be heroic. Oh, there you go. Didn't even need to read it. Poster inside a cabinet. That's the mill from the beginning. Interesting choice. Murder mill. That is a cool design choice. Hey, either of you heard of murder mill? Holy shinobi! You're I kidding, right? I fucking hate him. No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait. This is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. Like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial <gasps> Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. Dude. How do you know all this? That's so That's fucking it. cool. That's a map in the body kind of stuff. That's so cool. Hmm. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging up the Atrix. <laughs> Good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Would you also like a refreshment? Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. If the 
character that you play now doesn't know the name of the character. I wish the game wouldn't tell you beforehand because it kind of ruins it. Um, relax. I'll have whatever stands over in. Um. No, that's okay. Uh, mm. no, that's okay. Try and be as safe sure? as possible. So good. It can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. <clears throat> I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? What's going Look, on? I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. I thought you were fucking... Huh. Talking about something well, sexual. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly, should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. I, I... I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it... I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain... Why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My mm. key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. Oh shit. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. I'm pretty sure he, he is. Yes, too, basically then. You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're gonna make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up, you can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Oh, shit. All I have to do is betray my own sister. 
And you will let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! This is some Oscar worthy acting. I'd rather die. It's because it's a film. You fail to see what truly makes us human. He doesn't seem to be the kind of person. I'd die. The kind of person to actually sacrifice himself for his sister in real life. I've only, I know I've only known him for 30 seconds, but that's the vibe I get. Um, but because he's in a film, we'll go with him pretending he would. Thousands of miserable deaths than betray someone I love. Oh, well. The answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Ah! What is that? An alien with a chainsaw. What are you doing? Amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little? You gotta play to the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? with your acting. It's got uh, very low standards. Oh, well, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new craft they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I'm getting X vibes. I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? <laughs> the... Um... It'd be kind of silly to just quickly change his mind, but go with that one. Of course. Chris, you're the director. <clears throat> but, like, part of the job is working with people you trust, and mm -hmm. I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions, and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way, because I'm the director. Sounds like Hold a lovely still, person. let me clean you off. We'll get it on this one. If oh my god, she, <laughs> she wiped me in my trailer. She wiped one side of his face and then you see the blood on the other side just vanish. That was terrible. The shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kinda real. Mm, more you guys want me to leave? Alright, alright. On your feet, people, everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action.
Action. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, oh. Some. Hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. Right. Sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take. We're going back For to the film 60s. production. You can't shoot a movie in Let's here. Explain the camera. This is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tick. That's Linda Castle, the old woman from the, the chapter we've just done. So going forward in time, then back in time. This is them filming Murder Mill, I bet. Oh yeah, because they're in a mill. Uh... Okay, that's cool. I didn't realise that until, like, just now. I was wondering why they're using such an old camera. But, okay, I get it now. E. Dixie. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, set one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Wait. But Linda is not the director here. But in the other chapter, it says that it's her film. Okay, I don't understand how that works. Um, if we don't get our last few shots, we're really sorry. Just let us get our last few shots, man. Sheriff Green, sir, with all due respect. We almost got this thing entirely in the can, and if we don't get our last few shots here in our main location, we're gonna have to scrap the whole thing. Then you're just gonna have to scrap the whole thing. All right, then arrest us. What? Arrest us for trespassing. Uh, Linda. Linda, come on. I know I'm just Robert's dad, but I'm still a cop. And you gotta start taking me seriously, because you really, really cannot be here. Why do you care so much? I thought it was abandoned. Yeah, it's not like we're looting the place. It's not safe. Just go home. But we've only got like three more little scenes and then we're done. Well, I don't think you're going to be doing any more filming today. Not with that. Got one. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Just because I'm a huge, huge rant not... about how they need to leave, and then it's like, oh, your camera's broke. Bye. But he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. out sir now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me <clears throat> I'll be watching yes sir I assume this is after he kills Frank Stone because why else would it be um Wipe off limits. And why would it be abandoned? So I think it is in the correct order. 1980? Oh, that was all 1980, not 60s. Okay. 
So this is tw um, 18, 17 years after the intro. Damn, Sam hasn't aged at all. So yes, it's 17 years after Sam killing Frank Stone in the intro. so dramatic. It's not like we got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <laughs> me. Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hills is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. We'll see. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. Starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. What do you think he was, he was up, to? up to? There has to be a reason for him to kill a bunch of people, right? There was never any kind of confession, so they don't really know for sure. Someone somewhere's gotta have some idea. Well, we could always just ask Frank Stone. Huh? Crystal Ball, Ouija board, Talks what up. will they say? And Miss BB's hotline, the dead are just a seance away. Okay, okay. <laughs> I called Miss BB once. I tried to speak to Mary Shelley. But Miss Beebe thought that was my grandmother, so she kept going on and on about eating enough cabbage soup. <laughs> Did you get a recipe? Oh, damn. Then again, maybe it's better not to dig up old bones. If it's ancient history... Mm, people don't really like to talk about it. You do get reporters asking around sometimes. It really rubs people the wrong way. Once Sam Green became sure if that all died down anyway. What were the reporters asking about? Sheriff Green seems to care a lot about this. Sheriff Green sure seems to care a heck of a lot about this. Sam Green's the one who took Stone down. Ah. Saved a little baby that day, too. Would have been the killer's next victim. Yeah, he's kind of the town hero. Huh. Interesting. Chris, what are you thinking? You guys have been so helpful answering my questions and all, but sounds like I should probably go right to the source. <laughs> what? After today, I don't think Sheriff Green's going to want to talk to you about anything even remotely related to the mill. You never know. Good luck with that. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey. 
Why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. <laughs> What? Uh, um... You want a piece of me, too? Are you okay? Fuck it. Howdy, partner. How's life on the range? Did he hit his head or something? The hell's wrong with you? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Ugh, why <laughs> is Dad such a demanding asshole? I came home to help, not do everything. I mean, I'm not a maid. Do I look like a fucking maid? You better not say I look like you a fucking call. maid. Look like Ray worried about Mom. <laughs> More like he's worried that as soon as she croaks, I'm out of here. And then he'll have to be his own fucking maid for once in his life. Mom's gonna get better. Yeah, but Mom's gonna get better soon, so it's not gonna matter. Right. Yeah. Of course you're right. Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing Mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean, I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <clears throat> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has a tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay, what do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do, what else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Not a fan of the pronunciation of his name. No, that's 20 bucks. Just 10 bucks. Well, which is it? Why is he nervous to ask for 20? Is it not 20? Just like 20 bucks, we'd probably cover it. 20 bucks? That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Just give, huh. a, just give her the change if there isn't. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm in. Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, all right, it's a deal. Try not to waste it. Don't worry, we'll put it to good use. I'm fine, it's just... Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, <laughs> it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Yeah, any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we can take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. <clears throat> Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. 
I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Um... Yeah, curiosity shot. Why not? I certainly am curious regarding said shop. Eh? Ha 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 ha. Yes, I get it. Lead the way. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. We all know curiosity Maybe shops are not a good place. We all know curiosity shops are not a good place to go and cheap horror films or games, I suppose. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Exactly. And we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not going to put the best ones in the window. We got to look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still have the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello? Hello? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Look around while waiting for the storekeeper. Where did I put all the... How has this place become such a mess? Davis. Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. This letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned's Naughty Ned's Ned Nax. All relevant legal paperwork has been signed and you should have received payment by months and my client also wanted to extend their sympathies to your recent hardships. If there is any lesson to be drawn from this, it's that fire, theft and casualty are not things that only happen to other people. Hopefully moving on from Cedar Hills will give you some distance from the bereavement after all. Time is a great healer, and perhaps one day you'll find yourself able to adopt another cat. Wait, let me see if there's anything on the back. The store recently passed into the hands of a new owner. Okay, so I assume so. The old woman, though. She's only had it for a little bit. Hey. Oh, cute bunny. It's the huntress's mask. That's so cool. I saw it in the trailer, so I'm not I'm like. Smiley face pin. Rorschach? I want to watch this creep fest. She says whilst making a horror movie. Any more DVD trinkets? Oh, 
Hey, is that another one of the... Oh, that'll be from fucking... Oh wait, no, it can't be. I don't know. Oh, there we go. The trapper. <laughs> Imagine cuddling up to that at night. Smile, it's a set up in that million thing. Cute. Are we ready? She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw, and me like so bummed out. <laughs> You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. The exact same color. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? It's going to be an option to lie about the price. It's $20. 20 bucks. No, oh, maybe not. Seems a little high. Seems reasonable. I mean, we got 20. It's a good thing we didn't ask for 10. Okay. Sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. I'm not going to be dick at Thank all. you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency was... sock quarter. I was going to say that. Emergency sock quarter? Milk. This game is enthralling. To log shoe. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know, I'm actually so proud of myself. I'm not proud of myself because I've got over a thousand hours on Dead by Daylight. But the fact that they've taken a offering, I think it is. Is it an offering or is it one of the add ons? Not add ons. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a map offering for the swamp map. The waterlogged shoe. Um, they're getting like really deep, like really like the Easter eggs are like not like dead obvious, like the dolls. But then like waterlogged shoe is pretty cool, and I'm really proud of myself for catching that that was a reference to a fucking offering in the game. What is this? Ace. Yep. Can't remember his last name right now. Survivor from Dead by Daylight. Oh shit. I'm so sorry about the keyboard by the way. I have a fucking mechanical keyboard and my headset is absolutely dog shit. So it doesn't cut out background noise. Very annoying, I know, I'm sorry. Every time I'm editing and listen back to it, I can hear how annoying it must be. But there's literally nothing I can do. You have to use, on my editing, I use CapCut to edit. Also embarrassing. Um, there's an option to like cut out background noise, but you have to get the pro version, and I just cannot afford that. <laughs> so I do apologize, but we are doing amazing at this game. I 
haven't used, we haven't lost any lives. We've got three. These last two are going to be a nine out thing. Okay, one left. Come on, you fucking cunt. There we go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, this is okay. This is a bit long. I'm sure, there's an achievement for finishing that. That's for another day. Oh, oh. hey, Chris. Robert, wait! I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Bust it. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right. Yeah, I need to get some milk, but couldn't find any. I got you. She's just fucking blind. One milk. One milk. <laughs> Thanks. No sweat. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. Oh. Wish it was 25 cents now. Yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. It's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. <sighs> Super into it but does my dad know you're going into the mill he watches that place like a hawk uh yeah we had a little run-in with him today but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest <laughs> man i would love to be involved involved in what hey dad yeah uh chris was just telling me about a um a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. <laughs> you need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. It's very intense. Chris, I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Well, the third option. You told me about Frank Stone. What really happened to the mill? Let's see if we can get him to tell us. Even though I do. Know. But you gotta tell me one thing. Is it true? What really happened at the mill? What? You know, the real story. Oh, right. <laughs> the real story. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all true. But there is one part they never tell you about. Yeah? Yeah, so fucking I, I, evil. Come on. <laughs> All right. But you've got to promise to keep it to yourself. All right. Scout's honor. They called it the steel mill. But it turns out you can't steal a mill. All right. You got me. This is what I do. Okay. 
You ready? Take care. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> that was actually five words, Chris. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. Mm. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Why is Augustine talking like she's the old woman? That old woman dead as fuck. These walls have eyes. Okay, we're back in modern times. Dream? Bad dream? Yep, that's what I chose. Ugh, how long was I out? I, I don't even remember falling asleep. 15, 20 minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the best before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. There we go. It's not even on my official filmography. That makes sense. I meant though. how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Chris film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So. All of our film strips, they're part of this movie, you and your friends. I'm curious what this modern section is. Like, obviously the the 80s section is about a group of friends trying to make a film. That's pretty obvious. So I'm very curious what, like, this modern, the 2024 section of the story is about. Because I'm not really, like, I can see, I don't know why they're all there. I don't know why they've all met, For to be honest. Um... I just know that they're all there and they've all got a piece of the film. Um, Augustine's told them to come. That's pretty much all I've got from this so far. I don't really know where it could be going. If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So this thing. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. You're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. 
I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponents. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> I'm good here. I... I, I think I'm good here. I'm trying to go for choices that like, I think they would choose. As opposed to, like, me. I'm sure he'll let us know what's behind the door anyway. If he comes back. So, uh, Murder Mill? I'm guessing it's not a romantic comedy. Years back, there was this killer. Frank Stone. Do you really think Augustine might be up to something? Like, do you think she isn't going to follow through on her, uh, offers? Don't get your hopes up. Speaking from experience, don't get your hopes up. Why? Talk is cheap. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here. Hope you enjoyed. I'm really enjoying the game so far. Um, the story is very interesting. I'm very like intrigued, especially with the atheist section. This section is still like I don't really know what's going on, but I'm sure it will get better. Um, yeah, see you in the next one.